、アンシーン64プレゼント。You probably already know that Final Fantasy is a long running RPG franchise made by Square Enix. But did you know that there's a Final Fantasy game out there that you'll never get to play? Final Fantasy Fortress is a cancelled action RPG that was being developed by Grin from 2008 to 2009 to be published by Square Enix on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Grin was a small studio. Best known for the work with Bionic Commando Rearmed and the Bionic Commando Reboot. During the development of Bionic Commando, the then president of Square Enix, Yoichi Wada, visited Grin's office and was impressed by what he saw from the development team. Wada proposed to Grin to create a new game, based on the Japanese card game Lords of Vermilion, but later decided to use the Final Fantasy name instead. It was unprecedented to let a Western team develop the Final Fantasy franchise, but it was also during a time when Wada had been growing more interested in the Western audience and design philosophy. If completed, Fortress might have been similar to the other Western inspired action RPGs predating Dragon's Dogma. Early development shows that Fortress was set to be an Evilese, the same universe used in Final Fantasy Tactics, Vagrant Story, and Final Fantasy XII, possibly even being a direct sequel to XII. However, interestingly, it was designed with a more Nordic aesthetic. Lead character artist Jorn Albin described Fortress as a game with an epic scale, both in story and production values. Leaked footage and stills show s that early environments, while incomplete, Showed a lot of promise, featuring a barren mountain and a hilly forest. There was also a model created for an early boss, which would have been a giant marble roll, a popular Final Fantasy enemy. The player would have to scale the seaweed on the creature's back to be able to hit its weak points, in a battle that would be reminiscent of Team Ico's Shadow of the Colossus. However, sometime after Fortress was already well in development, Square Enix requested the Nordic aesthetic to be changed, and something with a more obvious Final Fantasy influence to be implemented. GameSpot reported that this design overhaul significantly disrupted development. Most assets had to be redone and whole environments had to be scrapped. At the time, Grin had no other major games in development. Final Fantasy Fortress was their only means of income. And their agreement stated they had to follow all of Square Enix's request. More than $16 million were promised for the production of the game, to be paid in increments when the project would hit certain milestones. This, unfortunately, is where things started looking grim for Grin. According to the studio's founders, no money ever came from Square. They still kept up with development on the game anyway, which was being paid out of their own pockets. But the redesigns were refused. Square Enix stating that it wasn't close enough to Final Fantasy. One of the redesigns was reportedly from Final Fantasy XII, Square Enix's own game. Meanwhile, Square Enix stated that Grin was not meeting any of the milestones that they promised, and this is why they had not made any payments towards the development. It also didn't help matters that other projects that Grin had completed, including Terminator Salvation and the Bionic Commando reboot, released to very negative reviews and low sales, creating doubt with the publisher and the project. It could have been that the publisher was still uncomfortable with the Western developer handling the franchise. It's really hard to know what happened between the two companies. During that time, Square Enix was merging with EDOS. And their European offices were not able to properly organize Fortress's development with Grin, nor was Square Europe able to properly forward or receive feedback from Square Enix in Japan. Requests from Square were frequent and stressful, but not clear enough, and the constant revisions caused Fortress's development to slow even further. Finally, in late August 2009, Square officially announced to Grin that no payments would be made to the company. A few days later, Grin was forced to declare bankruptcy. And with the closure of Grin, Final Fantasy Fortress was cancelled. Thankfully, everything turned out alright for Grin. 
as many of the former employees became Overkill Software, which would go on to make Payday the heist and the massively successful Payday 2. However, the fate of Fortress was never determined after that, making it a game that you'll never play. If you're interested in learning more about Final Fantasy Fortress, as well as other cancelled games, you should check out Unseen 64's website in the description below for more details. Unseen 64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world, dedicated to archiving and presenting cancelled, beta, and unseen video games. If you want to support their efforts, please consider to support Unseen 64 on Patreon to help them keep the site online and to remember more games that would otherwise be forgotten. Hey there, I'm Soberdor speaking on behalf of Unseen 64. If you liked the video and want to keep up to date on unreleased or cancelled games, please remember to subscribe and show your support. And if you're interested in learning about other Final Fantasies, you can check out my channel at Soberdorf Show, where I talk about the design of games both popular and obscure. In fact, I recently talked about the development and design of Final Fantasy XI. You can check that out in the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching.